On the 30th of June, 55 diplomatic envoys from 41 countries visited China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation in Beijing to learn about China's aerospace development and experience its application scenario. Let's hear what the envoys say about it. We are living with a very positive impression of China's role for the future in uh, outer space exploration and also of uh, China's openness uh, for further collaboration and cooperation with other countries in this area. China's uh, vision about going to space, we know that China has landed on the moon and uh, you know, collected samples from, from the moon and, and up space. But with today's visit, it's much in depth. We, we know more from the presentation, we also know from walking and seeing the exhibition and the explanation from the very, uh, you know, the staff here. And so in general, I just feel that Thailand and I think most countries in the world has a lot to learn from, from China's aerospace technology. Uh, what can be seen is that in the last uh, 40 years, the programs that China has uh, been pursuing have been immensely successful. If you think about the space station, if you think about the, the landing of the, of the different probes in the, in the moon, especially the one that landed on the, on the uh, occult part of the moon, on the, on the behind the moon, and the whole plan of uh, starting to land on the southern hemisphere of the moon and starting uh, to think about the possibility of having a station there is going to be very significant. I think in general, uh, we have to admire uh, what China has done in terms of uh, space technology in, as I said, in the last 40 years. For us as ambassadors, we came here this today to learn more and to learn more. I'm always saying China has so good stories to tell to the world. This is one of them. It's one of, one of them. So it, it made, it, it made uh, China unique in the global space. And Namibia is part of this uh, of this development.